Pete here and I'm back for another weekly free instant tournament. This is an 8 board BBO tournament that you can play by going solitaire, then weekly free. Give it a shot if you haven't already. And this week, like last week, I also did my prep. I did a short walk. I've got a glass of water here. You know, just feeling really fresh. And hopefully this will just translate into a really good start. And I think don't, not enough people do uh, the good groundwork basics into getting yourself prepped to actually uh, play there. So... Let's see if we can kick this off with a couple of really good scores. So, pass, pass to me, and I've got 13 high card points and a 2 5 4 2. So, there's a pretty clear one heart opening. Can't really see any other good alternatives here. Two clubs, pass two hearts. So, I don't really need to double this to say I've got really good hearts. My partner's already going to lead hearts. I don't think I'm going to compete when the opponents sign off in three clubs. Uh, I'd really want my partner to potentially choose from hearts and diamonds, but I don't really see that happening. Ooh, three hearts. At best, partial stop in hearts. Three spades, showing spades. Okay. And three spades, four spades, twice rebittable spades. My partner also hasn't doubled three hearts here. But uh, I would expect that only if they had good hearts. So what on earth does East actually have? They've got a maximum hand with six spades. Um, that's just weird bidding. They're a past hand. So they're a maximum past hand. So what do we think is going on? I've got 13 high card points, and this is a best hand tournament. So 13, uh, 12... 10, so 13 and 12 is 25, 10, 35, my partner's probably got about 5 points, maybe 4, maybe 6, they might not bid on all of them, but West has clubs, more clubs, East has like 6 spades, and well, they might do this on 5 spades, but why didn't they open a week 2 in spades, why didn't they open 1 spade, looks like I just want to lead a top heart, and there's a stiff... Stiff spade there. All right. So it looks like East has six spades and three clubs. Dummy did come down with 12 points. So still thinking my partner's got about five points. Uh, they're probably something in spades because like, they might have the jack of hearts. I think East probably has the ace of clubs. Uh, if my partner's got the ace of clubs, that doesn't really help. Anyway. Can I see any reason to say switch to a club? Or... Don't really see that happening. Um, I don't think East has that long a clubs. The diamonds are all working. We'll just see how hearts break. Okay, so... They were 5-5-3-3-2. Five, five, three, three, Spade duck to me. Okay, so East clearly doesn't have all the top spades, so my partner has a spade on her. So the next question is, do I want to shorten East or not allow them to uh, actually play? Hey Vanessa, thanks for coming. And bringing a party of five. Ooh. So here, I think spades were six, four, uh, one, two. And East is already roughed. They'll probably be able to shorten their trumps a bit. If I play another heart, my partner can discard something. I don't think that they'll be able to end up with, like, actually eloping with their trumps. So I'm just going to continue with hearts here. Hey, P. Brockway too. Thanks for coming in. Uh, so heart, partner ditched diamond there. I think I'm basically out of this. My partner probably should have a spade trick at this stage. Or otherwise, East has seven spades? Yeah. <laughs> My partner had heaps. Okay, 71%. Got the good start there. East just had five spades. So here, I, my preference would be to bid like two spades here. They did show support, and then maybe bidding three spades is okay. But they really didn't get their spades into the picture that well. 
Uh, some people followed it up by bidding three diamonds. I'm not really sure what they're trying to achieve by competing here. I think that should be a, a lot stronger hand, opposite a hand that doesn't want to bid. And the opponent's got the five clubs when that happened. I find it really strange that they stopped in four spades, but I will take that uh, very generous robot bidding there and move on to board number two. And here we've got a flat 13 count. Um, all right, one club. Tuno, invite. So at teams, I would definitely uh, accept the invite. Feels like I probably should anyway. I've got a nice 12 count, but I don't have a source of tricks. So for me to make three no trumps here, let's give my partner a hand. They'll probably have something in spades and hearts and like just scattered cards. So if I give them say king of spades, king of hearts, king of clubs, king of diamonds, that's like just a, a flat 12 count that would probably bid two no trumps. And maybe like four triple three on diamonds or clubs or something like that. We'd have two spades and four clubs is six. Uh, I might be able to build an extra heart is seven, but it's actually starting to look like it's hard to get up to that ninth trick. So I think at imps I'd consider this more, but it was a nice 13, but I'm going to pass here because it's not clear where our nine tricks are going to come from. Okay, so my partner had three of the kings that I suggested. King Jack of Hearts is beautiful cards here. So that means I can set up three hearts and two spades is five. I still need to try and take a club finesse. So I could either take the club finesse or I could knock out the ace of hearts. The opponents can eventually get three spades and the ace of hearts and the ace of diamonds. Um, get the five of spades lead, so don't know much from that but to me it looks like I want to knock out the uh, ace of hearts first uh, if the club finesse is working then we get four clubs three hearts and two spades so my partner's got pretty useful cards here that jack of hearts is a really good card so I kind of want the club finesse to be offside because there will be some people that bid three no trumps and I don't really want that to make. Um, so if the club finesse is working, then although clubs might be 4-1. I think entries later to my partner's hand are important. We'll go up with the ace of spades. And... Start on hearts. I really should have paid attention to <laughs> what spade West played. There's the ace of hearts, and I've now continued with another spade. Okay. So, I could take a club finesse here, or I could hope that spades... Like, I haven't seen East play a lower spade. I don't think I've seen either person play a lower spade. I could cash my hearts and play a diamond... So if I play West to have the diamond queen instead of uh, East having the club king, then if West has the diamond queen, I can get uh, at least two diamonds, probably three, but two diamonds, two spades, three hearts, and a club. So I think that's a pretty good way to get eight tricks without the club finesse. So I'm kind of tempted by that. Uh, in the bidding, I know that West didn't overcall and East didn't open. So, which player is more likely to have more points? Uh, if I knew who I thought had uh, the long spades, uh, then they're more likely to be weaker. And my guess is East is more likely to have five spades. Firstly, they're lead spades. And West looks like maybe they're unblocking spades. So, East has shown up with probably a spade on her and the ace of hearts so let's go out on a limb and cross to my hand to take a diamond finesse okay so ace of diamonds ace of hearts it's really starting to look like east doesn't have the uh, top club there Uh, 
Uh, my entries are gonna get uh, a little bit troublesome here. Uh, I think my diamonds are coming in, unless East has a single to Nace of diamonds. Okay. Ah, the Club King was on side, so that's bad news. But, look, 75%. Okay. Wasn't bad news? Oh, Clubs are 5-0. Uh, but I can probably make an over trick anyway. People are in going in three, no going down. So, oh, it was stiff ace of diamonds. So they knocked that out and they won the spade. Okay, so I think they used the entry in the wrong spot. I'm not sure they've got the timing to, oh, they can still do it from here. Okay, so uh, they then have to lead a low heart to the jack and now Oh, it does get very complicated with uh, being able to get to that hand. So you catch the clubs, yeah. And uh, they played a diamond way too early. Diamond to the 10, I think, is a, a poor choice there. Anyway, I am surprised that East didn't open this hand. I definitely would have opened the 5-5-11 five, five, count. Uh, but currently uh, in equal first with 73%, so going strong so far. Anyway, uh, meter bat, and I got a 15 count with a 5 3 2 3. So this looks like a 1 no trump opening. Opening 1 no trump with 5 spades is worse than if I had like 5 hearts. Uh, but if I open a spade, and like all my values make this seem more like a spade opening, but uh, I'll stick to my style of opening a no trump. Okay. And we get a club lead. So first of all, if I open a spade, the auction would go a spade, pass, or no trump. People would probably have to bid two clubs. Uh, West would bid two no trumps and you'd bid three no trumps. So you'd play it the other way up. Uh, here, it looks like I've got two hearts, three clubs is five. I really just want to get four spade tricks. I think the best way of doing that is just lead a low spade towards the jack. Tries to help out my entries there. Does give up on the chance of East having like queen third spade or being able to get five spades, three clubs and two hearts. But I might have a chance. No, if, if I, uh, I might be able to get 10 tricks later by setting up diamonds. Like my other play is win the club, cross the heart, lead the jack of spades. Firstly, if spades aren't three, three, I still might have a spade loser. And it opens up the opponent's attacking hearts as well. So I think I would just lead a low spade towards the jack. Queen there, that's that's really what I wanted to see. Okay, so uh, if it's a singleton queen, it's still bad news. Uh, at this stage, I could duck a heart hoping hearts are 3-3. Three, three, or I could... Uh, play a diamond, but if I play a diamond, they just play another club. Um, no better off, so I think it's duck a heart time. Alright. Spades were not 5 1, so that, that was a bit of good news. So here I just want to keep an eye out on the hearts and see how I think they're breaking. There's one heart discard. I don't think the hearts are breaking well. Um, yeah, so losing the last two tricks, but making three. 75% as well. So we have gotten our strong start we're going for. Uh, other people in one no trump, they just opened a spade and then passed. Other people bid a spade, two clubs. They really should bid three no trumps if they followed up that way. Um, some people went down in three no trumps on this sort of auction. And you play it the wrong way up. So even though I thought that I didn't have much to protect and this looked like playing in a spade sort of contract, uh, it's the wrong way up. The opponents find the wrong lead. Well, the unsuccessful lead. Uh, but 
even still. Uh, yeah. Someone did get to four spades. I opened one spade and rebid two spades. So that's how you get 100%, but uh, opening one no trump certainly works there. Anyway, on to board number four. We've got a nice hand with four, five, two, two, fourteen count. A uh, pretty interesting hand here. Uh, my partner opened one diamond, and it's gone three spades on my right. So, yeah, excuse me. I thought I was about to sneeze. False alarm. It's okay. Um, so here we might have a heart fit. We might have a heart slam. We might have three no trumps on. So choices I could consider. I could consider three no trumps. I could vaguely consider pass and just turning it into penalties. For that, I would need want to get plus 800, which would mean beating them three tricks. So holding them to just six tricks. And it looks like they've got six spade tricks at the start. So I'd need my partner to have like both the missing aces and the king of diamonds or something like that. Uh, it could work, but I'm not really going to go for it. I could like that nine of spades is close to uh, close to another trick. So Vanessa said, "Don't you hate these choices?" Uh, so actually, no, I really like these choices. Uh, like these are difficult choices, but this is what I really like out of bridge because I feel like it's where I can get my edge if I can think them through and get them right. And when I get them wrong, I'm like, did I like it's something like worthwhile to review? But it, it's annoying having these choices where, uh, like, it is annoying thinking that oh god, maybe I'll just get this horribly wrong. So uh, it does look like my partner's probably got a short spade. So they're very likely to have a heart fit. So I think four hearts will play pretty well. If my partner's got something like a one, two, six, four, or something like that, that means four hearts won't play very well. Uh, but I think most of the time they will have certain heart support and it'll play decently. I don't think I can come up with a good way to investigate slam. And this is a best hand tournament, so my partner's not going to be that strong. But if they've got like short spade... Ace fourth heart, ace third club, and king fifth diamond, something like that. Uh, I would be able to um, potentially trump three of my spades, but I'd need to be over roughing the opponent and then just draw trumps and might make seven. So, like, if my partner has like stiff, ace jack fourth, king fifth, ace third. That would be just like an awesome 12 count, which is making uh, potentially seven hearts, but probably only six. But I, I really can't find a good way to actually find that out. If my partner has just like stacks of minor cards, uh, then I potentially want to just play three no trumps. But I think a lot of the time we will hit a heart fit. Uh, West may double me whenever hearts are breaking really badly, and then I can reconsider my choice. So I think I'll give four hearts a go, um, but I think there's a really close and interesting choice. <laughs> I think I got pretty close to the hand that might make slam with partner happy. Uh, they didn't have the ace of clubs, uh, but boy do they have some good cards there for me. Alright, so I have three spade losers and a club loser. So with my spades, I can ditch one on a diamond, and I want to try and trump two. Um, but if hearts break poorly, then... Uh, yeah. I also don't think Wes is leading away from the ace queen of clubs, unless they've got a void spade. So this might be Dalton queen of clubs. Yeah. So... Hearts aren't... So I get to discard one on the Jack of Clubs, one on the Queen of Diamonds. And... Oh, it's just, everything's super friendly, so 12 tricks. 89%. Okay, uh, so... Some people will pass three spades. Now, I think the North Hand should reopen with a double, like even though they don't have extra points. Short spade just means, like, partner might be trapping. So I think that's fair. Uh, some people did bid three no trumps, and that makes ten. But four hearts was the winner, and 
As I mentioned, you might make slam, but I couldn't find any good way to actually investigate that. But we are running along at 77%. So I've gotten the good start I was after. Let's move on to board number five. And here we've got a flat 14 count. So I'll open a club. This is like quite a good one. Like I've got three aces, uh, jack 10, nine of clubs, ace, jack, nine of hearts. All those cards are very useful. Looks like East probably has like six spades and four hearts for that. I'm kind of stuck. I don't really want to pass out two spades, but I can't. Like, what's two no here? Invite to game. <laughs> Definitely can't do that. Um, I just hope my partner balances with something. Three spades. I don't think they're going to make this, but I don't know what I can do. West probably, like, why on earth is West raising here? So I've got 14, my partner's got 6 to 10. I think East has probably spades and hearts. If they if they do have 6 spades, why didn't they preempt there? And the usual reason is they've got a heart suit as well. So I think I've got good defense here in hearts. I think hearts are like 4, 4, 3, 2 or something like that. I think West probably has some diamonds, but they don't have a great source of tricks and diamonds because they didn't overcall a diamond. Uh, I think they're going down, but I'm not going to double them. Um, I think I'm just going to lead to Trump, though. <laughs> that is just a garbage hand from West. I've got flat nine count. I have no idea why they raised there. Okay, so the hearts aren't going anywhere. My partner bit a no trump. I know hearts aren't 4-4, four, four, so that's not a singleton king. Um, so I really don't know where their tricks are going to come from, but let's just start by just drawing trumps. Okay, so they only had 5 spades, so they do have 11 points. So there was 9 points there, and I've shown up with the king of spades and king of hearts. Um... And the King of Diamonds. I think West mixed up garbage with bar Barrage, yeah. Um, so they've got all the missing, well, three missing kings. My partner's got the Ace King of Clubs. Okay, they trumped in, so I've got Stiff, stiff Club, Five Spades. Uh, Like, I was thinking, like, maybe I should split that. Um, at this rate, I think, wow, we got 60%, but I had a 5-5-10 five, five, count. That's what they had there. So one person did manage to beat it. Two people did double two spades, which got to pass because it was a penalty. So they started with the jack of clubs and they shifted to a spade ducked. Spade, they won, and another club. And he roughed. Diamond ducked, another diamond. Another club, and they rough. And he set up the long club, so they never got a heart trick there. All right, cool defense. Uh, can the robots always make it? Yeah, they are always cold, but I will take my 60% there. Three spades, pretty flat board, but running at 74. I'm, no, I'm amazed that they made three spades with how trash the dummy was that came down. Um, yeah. Anyway, four, five, two, two, twelve count. So one heart from me. Three clubs, four hearts. I don't have anything more to add. My hand got worse. So, ace of clubs. Okay, my heart, hand's getting better now. Uh, my partner's got 11 high card points and we got a three club bid. Looks like clubs are seven triple two. I want to see what club they follow up with. Oh, there's not testing defense. Okay. 
Uh, we are going to be taking the heart finesse and the crossing in diamonds is the safest, so let's do that. And we've got all the pips to keep finessing. And uh, we can pick up four nil spades either way, but West did ditch a spade. Um, so we've got uh, the rest of the tricks. Uh, this one will be flat. 57%. Two people didn't make four hearts. Crossed in spades and let a heart. They can still. Oh, they let a low heart to the 10, so now the king 9 actually sets up. Okay, uh, my guess of that being flat was wrong, but. <laughs> 57 seems like uh, a lot there. They, they didn't make an over trick. Uh, that 8 of hearts was quite a powerful card there. They, they really should have made the over trick. Um. Especially when they started off with the queen and the position is known. I think lots of people don't actually just follow through, see someone show out and go, okay, so what are the missing cards and what does that mean I should do? It's really important to actually stop and try and work those out. Anyway, we've got a flat 12 count here. So one club, one heart. Just rebid one no trump. Two diamonds. This was new minor forcing, asking me, do I have three card support? And I do. Uh... And I am minimum, so I just... Three hearts. So, I've shown like 12, 13 now, so my hand's gotten better. I've got a five card suit, the heart fits better. Let's give it a go. Okay, my partner's got a 10 count. Uh, with... Alright. So I got a 10 count with stiff club. So we've got three diamond losers. They're helping us find the spade. I could try and trump a diamond loser. I could try and rough my clubs up out to set them up. I really want to see what happens here. Okay, so they found the queen of spades for me. I still might have a spade loser as well. Um, I could also do something like lead low towards the jack of diamonds, just always assuming I'm going to lose two diamonds. But if East has the queen of diamonds, they have to go up with it, and then that's all right. So, uh, I think I'll start with a low heart. They're picking up the diamonds for me, that's good news. All right, so I really want to try and trump a diamond. Uh, they, the fact that they didn't continue spades there might mean that uh, they've got a singleton spade. But if they've got a singleton spade, then trumping doesn't affect me too much. I really want to get that rough of a, uh, a spade happening. So I could go in with the queen of hearts here. So... If I play the ten of hearts and it goes ten jack ace, roughing a diamond will set up an extra trick. Going up with the queen of hearts is bad if East has king jack fourth heart, but I really don't think that's consistent with what they've done there. So I don't want them to force out my uh, ace of hearts yet. Okay, so now I can go ace of clubs, rougher club. Uh, We can trump here. Alright, so at this stage... Um, we're making our contract. If I rough a club and cash the ace of hearts and give up on spades being 3-3. Three, three. If I think spades are 3-3, three, three, I could cash ace ten of spades. Uh, but... I really don't think East would switch to a low diamond away from the ace in a rush. So I'm starting to really think that East started with a stiff spade. So we'll try and trump that and cash the ace of hearts. And draw trumps. Ninety-two percent. 
Oh, that went well. Um, they did blow a trick by leading a low diamond at some stage, but uh, everyone else in four hearts went down. Other people passed three hearts. I think that's fair. Um, the, the main reason I accepted is I did show a minimum with this uh, two heart bid here. I, I could have bid three hearts, so my partner invited opposite already being a minimum. So that's where I went to go. But looking at the north-south cards, this is a really pushy game at match points. So I think it's very fair to stop in three hearts. But a really cool one on card reading and trying to uh, protect yourself there. Um, like, why did East not continue spades? Really looked like that a singleton. And, like, going up with the queen of hearts rather than putting the ten in. Because, like, East wouldn't be doing what they were doing if they had king-jack fourth heart. Anyway, uh, board number eight, and it's gone pass a spade pass. We have a fantastic hand here with a one, two, four, six, seventeen count. So we want to investigate slam. So we'll start with two clubs, game forcing. My partner's got uh, spades and hearts. So I could do something like two no trumps, which is game forcing. I could bid three diamonds. Or I could bid three clubs. Um, right, so what do I need to make slam from partner, first of all? If partner had, say, ace of spades, ace of king of hearts, king jack of diamonds, that would make grand slam, and that would be a 15 count, which is 100% for grand slam. So if I took away, say, the king of hearts then we've got ace of spades ace of hearts king jack of diamonds that is a 12 count that is 100 percent for grant uh, for small slam but how likely is that when partners bidding uh spades and hearts i really want them to show a diamond stopper um but we'll start with three clubs five clubs Right, so my partner's probably got short. So first of all, five clubs is going to be a horrendous uh, score because three no almost certainly makes ten tricks. So I think I just have to try and punt six clubs here. Um, if I knew I was choosing between like three no and five clubs, I would have picked three no, but I really wasn't expecting a five club bid from my partner. So let's just pray that my partner's got something sensible but this will probably not be great okay well partner's got something sensible um, the next question is how do we want to play this so I have a heart loser and three diamond losers so I could throw my heart on the king of spades that seems pretty poor I could play low on the spade here and then I've got three, maybe four discards to discard a heart and all my diamonds. So I think I just play low spade here and hope that wasn't a singleton spade. And I go from there. Firstly, I think some people won't get to slam. So if I beat the people that can... Like, hopefully spades aren't 6-1. Um, do I want to protect against spades being 6-1? So I could rough this high. Um, so if spades are 6-1, it means that the heart finesse is probably more likely to be working. Or I could fall back on the diamond finesse. Um, so I could rough this high, draw trumps, and then discard uh, two diamonds and a heart. And then I could come down to an ending where I could either choose to commit to the diamond finesse or hopefully squeeze west in diamonds and hearts if they've got the king of hearts and um, king of diamonds. Or I could just discard here and hope that 
Uh, <laughs> hope that spades aren't 6 1. So, when would East not switch to diamonds here? Why would East not play a diamond? So, they saw me play the jack of spades. Uh, if they had six spades, they would always return a spade. If they had five spades, they might consider. Like, if they had like four or three spades, they would know that there's no rough. So, East certainly had long spades here. Alright, I'm, I'm just gonna... I'm gonna discard, but... Uh, really feels like spades are 6-1 here. Like, why didn't West lead a diamond? Why did East win the queen and, and uh, continue a, a spade? So, I've almost changed my mind. This is, like, torturing me. Okay. Uh right. <laughs> uh here I've got um enough tricks for down two. I think I was always down. No, the King of Diamonds was on side. So I would have squeezed East in Hearts and Diamonds. <laughs> anyway, I, I dropped to uh, uh, I dropped to rank equal second spot with sixty five percent. I thought that was a really interesting um, weekly free instant tournament. Uh, two people got to six no trumps. Um, six no trumps is down on probably a heart lead. Um. Oh no, it's cold on a heart lead. So what do you have to do if they lead a heart? Well, I... I guess you can always discard one diamond on the top spade and one diamond on the extra heart and take the diamond finesse. So it, that that is there. But lots and lots of people in three no trumps. As I mentioned, look at the comparison. If I passed five clubs, that scores 14%. Um, so... By having a punt at slam, even though I didn't think it was going to make, but technically it was like really good because partner had a decent hand, um, or at least a decent slam. Ah, should have, should have trusted my gut. Oh, I was so close to like changing over and just roughing that high, and then just playing the alternative line, uh, which would have worked. Um, <laughs> I was so close, just ah. Oh. Like, why did they lead a spade? But, like, maybe I thought, maybe the robots just don't want to lead away from the King of Diamonds or, or something like that. Anyway, that was a really cool uh, weekly free instant tournament. Hope you hope you all enjoyed it. Um, big uh, thanks to all my patron supporters because without you I wouldn't be able to make this content. So if you like what I do and want to check out my Patreon, the uh, link will be over there. Uh, so I thought this one was really interesting and lots of cool hands. Thanks all for watching, and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye for now.